not accepting YouTube. The music bot doesn't accept YouTube. Okay. I don't know what that music bot does. Does it accept Spotify? Does it accept Spotify? Yes, it does. All right, Beatles songs also on Spotify. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's called something else. Wait, is it? Oh, it, it's it's actually called Erica. what is that? What is happening? I heard a thing that I'm tabbed out. I Thank you. It. Thank you for hosting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah. Wait, is it? A... Yeah, it is. It is. I listened yeah. to you today. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let, me the... The... Yeah, is... let me get the playlist uh, going. Oh, fuck. I have to then. copy the link? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to copy. Control C. Oh, okay. Wait, am I? Uh -oh. Why is it not? Do I actually do? HTTPS uh, uh, semicolon slash slash. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a link. There we go. Oh no, is this bot being dumb? No, yes. I think I. Yeah, there it is. I don't hear it. All right. Can you not hear it? Oh, wait. No. It's I, I can't hear it because I'm hip muted. I'm going to go ahead and up the playlist while that's going too. Wait, no, I hear that. That's. I don't know how uh, to use the bot, that's why I just copied what you wrote earlier, Fields. Oh, that's some Harry Potter music. That should be good. <laughs> I see the Pepe now, that was not me. <laughs> Alright, um, okay, let me... <sighs> if Hang you on. zoom in a little bit next to the cart, you'll see his the face I drew. <laughs> right, I need to pull up stream on my phone because I literally cannot see anything. So I'm using both my tabs oh, no. for D&D. &D. Um, Okay, here we go. There's that. Right, I have that up. What do I need up? I need sound alerts so it doesn't yell at me. I can yell at you if you want. Please don't. Oh! <laughs> should at least probably have the screen up. Is this bouncy and, uh, back beat? No, this is Patrick. Patrick. Okay. <sighs> so, Negligible's here. Hi, Negligible. How's it going? Hi, um, Nedge. Hello. Da, 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 that's Hi. there. That's there. Ah, there's another thing happening. What is happening? Nice. You gave that a nice. sub. Thank you. Do the sniffing first thing in the morning. No problem, Bouncy. Yeah. Thank you for the that's gift sub. Awesome. I really do appreciate that. It's for uh, for hosting this D and D session once again. Thank you. Thank you. This is session three. We're about yes. to get into the groove. Reevaluations will happen in two. <laughs> I th I think I have everything ready. At is this the Pepe point. Gun TOS? <laughs> is oh, it? Yeah. I don't know, then my uh, the lingo old would also okay. be Oh yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. Don't think what games is are... going on with that drawing? Okie dokie. So, oh, let's get cookies. this ball rolling. Um, for those of you watching, hi, hello. Um, I will not be engaging with chat audibly during these streams, but I will be doing my best to look at chat and answer any questions. I didn't put a Discord bing bong, uh-oh. Um, oh my god. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, da, 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 Bouncy, da, 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 you're da. nearing 100 followers, you should be a pro streamer by now. I am never a pro streamer, what are you talking about? I don't even know how I got this far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm big follows, that's how you... Big, big follows, yeah. Big follows, yeah. 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 Great legends. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they don't want me. Anyway, okay, that's you done. You don't want Rage Shadow Legends. Then. I want money. Yeah, but like, okay, do you know how the Rage Shadow Legends thing works? Ship. It's pretty dumb. No, not at all. <laughs> you can explain to me later. We gotta get started. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I see you, Malson, here. Fantastic. But as I said, as I said, I will not be talking in the chat audibly. I will do my best to engage with you I all have. through the chat. I will be answering any questions that you may have. I probably should put a timer that tells people that the people who aren't here yet. I'll get to that next stream. Um, but yeah, and as for you guys, this is your third session. Some things happened last session. Does anybody want to give a recap while I uh, very hastily eat the food that I totally didn't forget I was supposed to eat before she came? All right, yeah, sure. Um, what we do, we started out in the, the warehouse for, for, for um, that guy that hired us to do it. Then we found a secret hatch under some some crate. We went we went down the hatch along a tunnel and we ended up in some mansion. It's like, um, I don't want to go through here. This, this is going to end badly. But then, you know, um, Tohurkin uh, just uh, knocked out a window. <laughs> we all jumped out the window of the mansion, uh, ran away. Uh, uh, the servants saw us fleeing. 
then we uh, stumbled about the city for like six hours because we couldn't find the eggs. <laughs> um, I, ins I insulted a dwarf, so he notified us that we're being wanted for that sa very same break-in. We tried to leave the city, a guard noticed, um, Wraith launched a fireball at him. Then they obviously started chasing us. We gave up because they were too many. Then we were just arguing back and forth with the captain of the guard. Uh, suddenly they all of the guards died. Uh, the guy who hired us... Um, Siegfried. Siegfried, yeah. Came in. Bloody. He had blood on yeah, his boots. Yeah, his he, he killed all the guards to free us and now we're enslaved to him. Uh, and he told us to go somewhere in the incandescent orchard. We were at the, like the queen. Uh, we ended up at the queen or some shit, or like the leader yeah, of the uh, yeah. the coach coachman. Yeah, the leader of the coachman. I don't, I don't remember who that was. And now we are in lifelong debt. Yeah. My suggestion is to you know uh, just hide in I don't know the pollutant wastes or something. <laughs> I'm not a slave. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Good recap, everybody. Just a few things. <laughs> um, the lady that you all spoke to, the leader of the coachman, her name was Maida. She was a very old dwarf. And uh -huh. we'll basically said that uh, you all know some of the legal activities the coachman had been doing. Therefore, you are now obligated to be um, working with them since you guys can't keep your mouth shut. Uh, yeah. That's basically oh, yeah, what, right. what she uh, said. Yeah. We uh, got Oshra told, told the guy, uh, captain of the guard everything. He just that told because I was under his spell. Well, I'm not going to mention that part. <laughs> the way you said that. How am I under his spell? Oh no, not again. Anyway, um, <laughs> so. And then they uh, might have assigned you to go with Siegfried to clear out a dungeon that has been causing some troubles on the road. <clears throat> and that is where we left off. You all still in the coachman's headquarters with all of them. But you all are... F they dismiss you for the day, basically. Um, you can go out and do what you will. The guards oh. most likely will not recover for a couple of days, so um, <laughs> any guards you do see probably won't even notice you. Um, so um, we're in this, this mansion again in the big city, right? Yes, but I'm going to railroad you a little bit because there are some things that need to happen. Um, you all um, leave the headquarters and are all drawn to a building close by. Um, and there is a sign on this building. Uh, it has a dragon on it, and it's a silver color. And the sign reads the Gilded Dragon, and all of you um, feel the impulse to walk in, whether was, it may be familiar the, to you or not. The pub we were in at the beginning, wasn't that also called the Gilded Dragon? Yeah. You have been to the Gilded Dragon before. However, that Gilded Dragon was located in Parr's Crossing. You guys are currently in the Quartermaster stockpile. Where are the PNGs? Oh god, where are the PNGs? Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I was gonna ask what you were talking. Yeah, and I was like, maybe Please you didn't interrupt want the PNGs me. Day. No, I no, it's, it's like a one-button press. I will not interrupt you, because that's rude. And that's not how it works. First! Okie dokie, well, uh, unfortunately, we, we don't have a PNG for the new character yet, so Kira, you're gonna have to have to have the Wraith um, yeah, PNG until we get a replacement. Also, they're, they're gonna be slowly loading in, I hope. Well, Two okay. of them loaded in. The most in. important character's oh, already here. No. Uh, um, <laughs> they'll be, they're loading in. Yeah, they're loading in. We're fine. We're fine. We are fine. Oh, oh God. Uh, we're good. Oh. The last one's just taking a little bit to load it. Um, but yeah, this you've been to the Gilded Dragon, but you've been to a Gilded Dragon in Parse Crossing. You've never been to a Gilded Dragon in the Quartermaster Stockpile, yet you see it, and you are compulsed to walk in. 
All right, so, so I guess we don't have a choice. So we walk in. You walk in. You guys, out of here. Oh, I'm on the map layer. That's unfortunate for me. There we go. That's <clears throat> not us. That no, no fog of war. Fog. Get out of here. B team. <laughs> um. Why is right. Gash behind you? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> Cash, I can feel your... <laughs> no, I'm just breathing down Kissing your neck this. just a little bit. I'm there gonna do go. a little kiss on the back of the neck. Oh, it, 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 you guys have no idea how hard it is to operate all of these because there's the an invisible... Just a shy little kid that I need behind his dad. Because <laughs> the other four PNGs are at the same locations as you guys. So there's like a whole entire hidden layer that I can't actually get to before I can get to you guys. So it's hard for me to navigate them. That, that should be good now. All right, and as you guys enter this gilded dragon, that it looks completely and totally identical to the one you were in before. Um, except this time, there is somebody sitting at the table you all sat at before. This person is someone Kira can introduce. Uh, it is your new character. Fati Vidya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do I do the introduction then? Yeah, do your character introduction. <clears throat> While I eat food. Well, well, well. Oh, oh dear. God. Who do we have here? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Be adventurers. Oh. My name is Watu. Who might you be? Uh, I don't see how that's any of your concern. I think I'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> Not very talkative, are you? Not to creepy strangers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know everything about you. You made quite a name in this town, and yeah. you lot point. are very entertaining. What about you, Dragon Boy? Care to introduce yourself? Hi! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm Torokin. <laughs> what was your name again? <laughs> Dorkin. My name is Watu. Nice. Nice to meet you, fellow. Likewise. No, I can't do this shit for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you set the tone. So congratulations on that one. That is that is a top ten voice impression I've heard. <laughs> Man. Well, are you all nicely introduced and all of that? Oh, yes. I guess. <laughs> Do what you about all you, sit with Vatu? You didn't say anything. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. <clears throat> you are all sure. Yeah, I'm all sure. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, that was the introduction. <laughs> 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 Nice. You don't have to know any. Oh more right, about the music. I'm sorry, I'm off. Well, it's playing blasphemous music for us. So you all take a seat with Vatu, and Kira, do you have some way you wish to send off Wraith, or do you care? Spontaneous himself. combustion. <laughs> Little man, I saw some seeds outside that might interest you. Seeds? <laughs> are you are you offering us drugs? <laughs> He's talking to the bird. <laughs> the bird to decide for himself. 
does the bird go out and look for seeds? It just says, Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> the bird gets up and leaves the bar. And that's the last time I'll ever see the bird. Where? Gets us into prison and just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good riddance, I suppose. <laughs> And you all have a seat at the Gilded Dragon, and as I said before, it looks completely identical. Even to the point where you see the same man operating behind the bar. A finely dressed man in a silver suit with black slicks back hair. Wait, oh, the silver man. And eventually he'll make your way over to your table and be like, yes, hello. What can I get you on this lovely day? Whoa, is this some kind of weird franchise where they make every employee wear silver suits? Jesus Christ. Franchise. Can I get a silver suit? Kitchen. I want a silver suit. You want Can a I silver suit? Oh, well, I suppose that we could possibly find one in storage. However, it would definitely cost you. How much? <laughs> oh, let's see. We gotta... You have to source the proper threading as well as you have to get the pigment just incredibly right. Of course, we have all this in the storage, however, it'd probably run you probably around 10,000 gold. Damn! Oh <laughs> my... Never mind. Sorry, sir. I'm poor. Mm. Yeah, well, guys, since it's our last day off before slavery, how about we get fucking drunk in here? I... I wait, you can't buy alcohol here. It's illegal. <laughs> oh, fuck! Yeah! Oh, this town, man. <laughs> Uh, just, I'm you know, sorry, you um, said you wanted alcohol. Man, um, do, yeah. Well, oh, alcohol. we have plenty in stock. Uh, yeah, that's <gasps> what I thought. Yeah, I'll have it all. No, not seriously. <laughs> Don't charge me 10,000 gold for all your alcohol. Well, let's see. The entire stock will probably run you probably around 500,000 gold pieces. So, uh, I mean, is that going to yeah, be in one full pavement or is that going to be in smaller payments? Small with one <laughs> oh, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, well, you guys have. Uh, I'll just have a uh, an ale. Give me the strongest stuff you have. Okie dokie. I want strong stuff too. Yeah, woo! All right. I turned twenty-one today. <laughs> <laughs> I can drink legally now, <laughs> yay! <laughs> so, uh, eventually he, he will um, go back into the back, and when you open the door, you hear screaming and shouting. And when it closes, you don't uh -oh. hear it anymore. Uh, don't, don't uh, go there. I'm, no, I'm not going there. I, 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 <laughs> my character says this, but I'm not no, going I'm, in I'm there again. I'm going to use like... the Wraith key since there is not a lot of use. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you a new PNG as soon as we can. Um, and eventually he'll come back out with uh, two silver mugs and two very small silver cups. And so he will hand them all to you, the people who ordered the strongest. You get the small silver cups, the two who ordered the ales, you get the two silver mugs. And... Enjoy. All right, I down one. Thank you. Mine and one gold. For you two that have the strong, what you see in the cup, um, does not look right. It's kind of like the liquid inside the cup does not even adhere to the laws of light, and what you see is just a black hole inside of the cup. Well, I still down my ale in one go and order the next immediately. Yeah, you're completely fine. And then... <laughs> <laughs> the other yeah, two, the you time. might... Right. Um... <laughs> well, um, can I take a sniff of it? Whatever that I'm just gonna it drink is. it. <laughs> you, take, you, take, you take a sniff of it? Your nose starts to bleed. Uh... <laughs> Down this shit. No, and to Hork, to Horkin, you you drink it? Yeah, of course. Why not? Give me a constitution I stop, saving I stop, throw. I stop him before he does anything. You st oh, you stop. Uh, roll a stop. 
Unless to, unless the Horkin will willingly be stopped. No. Fourteen. Okay, it's a fourteen. We gotta roll higher than a fourteen to Horkin. I got to. Okay. Yeah. Uh. I was, hang on. There should be. There should Damn. be. A, there should be. A, there should be a skill attached to this. Hang on. Um, oh okay. Athletics and not dexterity were No, no. It's, right it's, well, right. would it be? What two skills would you say would be fair in terms of this? Sleight of hand. I would Strength. say. Survival. Survival? Strength? I don't know. Survival or strength? I think strength, because physically stopping someone. But like, yeah, if so someone grabs at your arm while well, you're trying right? to take a shot, do yeah. you like just... Alright, that's an athletics. Hold your arm stronger to take the shot. <laughs> that's an athletics then. Okay, uh, athletics. Both, both of you um, add your athletics. Athletics is strength, so plus four, uh, 18. Plus three. Ah, uh, okay, lame. Dang it. <laughs> So before you get to drink it, We're already ruining my fun. Uh, Devatu stops you and stops your hand. Don't drink it yet. Something's not right. I I called the bartender over to explain this bullshit. Hmm, yes, what seems to be the issue? This thing burned my nose. It yes. Don't do this. Well, you ordered the strongest thing we had. Like actual fire. Explain yourself. <laughs> oh well, you see, this is actually a very yeah. rare brew that comes from the Underdark, um, the finest Drow and Wearguard distillers have created this lovely sort of beverage to enjoy in places of perpetual darkness. Since recreations are few and far between there, they, uh, they have sort of lower standards for most, but higher standards for their alcohol. So you sip it. No, I make him sip it first, see, see if it's not poison or anything. Oh, Silver Man's gonna beat you up. <laughs> We're getting stabbed again. One second, please. And awesome. he is going to um, step back around into the back really quick, really brusquely, and then uh, come right back holding uh, a bottle that has been recently opened. And he'll show it to you. This is the bottle it came out of. And it's got a little label. You can probably most likely cannot read the label, unless any of you speak Undercommon. No. Um, nope. So it looks completely like four nope. of you. And then he will um, procure a small glass for himself, pour himself one, and then drink it with no visible reaction to the face at all. See? Alright, can I drink it now? <laughs> <laughs> I right. clink with to horking and drink it. All right, I yes. need both of you to give me a Constitution saving throw. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do it right now. Constitution. Shit. I uh, rolled a um seventeen. Okay. Four. Four. <laughs> I see. Um, I have proficiency in Constitution saving throws. That's a plus two, right? Yes. So do I reroll or no? Just four plus two is six. Oh, plus two, so six. <laughs> so you're still Wait, dead. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, no, it's a it's a constitution. It's character dies immediately. It's a constitution <laughs> saving throw, meaning that you add your con modifier plus the proficiency bonus. Oh. So ten. Ten. No, yeah. Okay. No four plus six then. So you both managed to swallow the liquid. So congratulations on that one, but it tastes very bad. Um, unimaginably so. Like, like you're, it hurts. Like, your mouth actually feels like it just, like, swallowed acid. Um, <laughs> and the throat, like it the burns thing. both of you. Um, to Horkin, your face wrenches a bit. Uh, a few tears come out of the eyes. You kind of grimace. But you mostly do your best, uh... 
Vatu is, is, is struggling. They're doing the table slap. They're kind of coughing a little bit. And uh, so what is your con modifiers exactly, both of you? Uh, constant, I, uh, I don't know my exact modifiers on Barbarian. Uh, what's, what's the score? Is... Uh, constitution is 16. 16. That's a plus 3. Yeah. And yours to work it? Uh, I had the plus 4, and then it was also proficient proficiency, so... On top of that. Plus 4. Just the just a plus 4. So... Yeah. Um... That means Vatu needs to make two more con saving throws, and Tahorkian needs to make one more con saving throw. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Hey, I gonna die, gonna die. Nineteen. Oh. Okay. Twenty-one plus three, and then one more. Sixteen, nineteen. Twenty-one and nineteen. Okay. You are not poisoned. Well and you are not passed out. <laughs> you managed to take it. Anta Horkin? Seven. <laughs> Seven. Um, yep. you... You, um, have alcohol poisoning. Hell yeah. Oh. Understandable, fair <laughs> enough. You are, you are, you are gone. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's gonna need to help the big guy out, um, for the rest of the day. <laughs> I want oh. to tribute. <laughs> Just dragging my body around. Not me. <laughs> I got this I shit again. Call them both pussies and laugh at them, but yeah, we can continue. Uh, I'm the pussy. No, you're the you pussy. You came like the weak shit, little bitch. Well, I okay, downed she got the beer one drunk go. Now. I don't want to drink black okay, holes. Okay, let me go and drink it. some of the alcohol I have sitting here real quickly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have... 50%? <laughs> I'm That's not gonna drink proof. it. I, I, no, not 50 proof. 50%. It's 100 proof. Oh, damn. What, <laughs> what, wait, what did you get with 100 proof? Uh, let me read it. Oh, Yukon Jack Honey, dude. But I'm not gonna drink it, I promise. <laughs> so I don't wanna be completely gone. It's a honey liquor, you sure? It's 100 proof? Mm hmm. Because they usually don't come nearly that strong. It's I'll probably, it's probably um, <coughs> honey moonshine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, math proof is just uh, alcohol by volume. Plus two. Yep. And you all anyway. look over to the tavern, or to, 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 to the bar, and you see that the, uh, the owner, completely fine. He's whistling, he's washing the bar with a rag. Yeah, well, he can handle his liquor. <laughs> Apparently. Well, um. since uh, you, uh, it's probably, uh, since one of us is already fucking alcohol poisoned, this whole drinking ourselves into oblivion on our last day before slavery isn't gonna work, huh? Nope. <laughs> this will only enjoy the every last bit of hope you have. It's all gonna get rough from here on out. And so, what do you all choose to do with the rest of your day? Um, well, I have a suggestion. How about, instead of going into a life of slavery, we, um, run away? I don't think that's a good idea, man. And why not? He will find us. We, we both know. Masters. We both You are know. one brave man. Unless you have a death wish. We both know. How strong Siegfried is, he will fuck us up. Yeah, but like, the gods are gone. The, he fucked them all up. Who's gonna catch us? Do you really think he doesn't have people watching us at all times? Well, I wouldn't just assume it, right? Like, then we give him power he might not have. Core Masters are a trading company. They surely have connections with the rest. Running away is very unwise. Right, so, uh, since no one wants to run, I guess we're not doing that. Nope. Slavery it is. 
slavery it is. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking bird got us into this. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> and then he disappeared. So y'all make the decision to stay off the coach and to drink. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So time will pass by. Um. In terms of what happens in this tavern, not much. Nobody else enters. Nobody else leaves. But it is full. You'll see the tavern owner doing menial chores. You'll see the assistant, that you can assume is an assistant, with the orange hair, um, do some things. Um, sometimes break a glass or trip over a chair or something like that causes a disturbance. And they'd be told to go take a break. And uh, oh, yeah, they'll I... be gone for a while. Uh, I, when she drops a glass, I harass her by clapping and shouting something like, well done. <laughs> Their face will turn red and they'll quickly exit. <laughs> Can I uh, <clears throat> make a perception check of the bar? What's that? No. Can I make a perception check of the bar? Sure, what are you trying to look for? Just anything that's out of the ordinary. Okay. Let me see. Um. Five. Five. You don't see anything to other than the ordinary, but you can't get it out of your head. You can't understand. You've been to this bar, but that bar is like two weeks from here. In a completely different city, but everything looks the same, that you can tell. Oh, hey guys, I've got an idea. There was this weird guy with the corpse in the back room. And that other barn, since this one looks exactly the same, maybe we can all go in there and challenge that guy. Well, I suppose we could walk over and see if there's someone there. Um, and maybe try to talk I'm to him. I'm still her. out of it, so no. <laughs> yeah, well, then you sit here and sleep. Well, well, okay, I see. <laughs> so, you all, what are you all doing? Um, we're going into this room, um, if we can. They're going ahead and I'm staying with the big guy. You're All going right, back so into go. this room, I see. Yes. You see Is what you expect there? to see. You see the very tall, lean figure in black clothing standing at the center. Uh, wait. Uh, who found him last time, Beetle? Was Me. Yeah. yeah. Wait, do you know what he, what he said? Uh, they didn't say anything. Didn't he... Did you really not say anything? No, I just <laughs> went back, <laughs> and, the, and the owner the owner said that um that it's like a battle, uh, it's like a training arena, but it's more for like intermediate travelers, combat wise. That is correct. Uh, all right, then may, uh, maybe we should go out and ask the, the I'll go out and ask him again. Hey, hey, um, there's this weird guy in the back room. Uh, I've heard of it before, but what was that about? Hmm. Yes. At them. Oh, yes, they, um, we keep them on the payroll to, um, help spar with adventurers who, so, um, right. may be needing, um, tips and tricks and different practice methods. It sanctions a relatively safe place to practice this kind of stuff. I mean, we have a pretty good doctor. Wait, but if it's just about us practicing to hit him, um, why would he hit back? To simulate a real-life fight. Oh. But what if I don't want to practice defending? Can I just keep stabbing at him and he just Oh, no, you talking? don't have a choice. Um, oh. We, um... We have a hard time with that one. Wait, but this training, uh, does it cost anything? No, we would never charge. Um, the, the charge comes from the doctor's bill. But, so you just have this guy standing in your back room, you pay for him like you just said? Yes, and you don't yes, get they're, any they're revenue on staff. Off of it? No, the revenue comes from the injuries you get from doing it. So the doctor's 
pay you? No, we we also have a doctor on staff. Uh, oh yeah, and so you charge profit when with the doctor, right? <laughs> Yeah, yes. um, so w what's up to her? Can you want to go beat up this guy? Uh, yeah, I totally yeah, I mean, Ocean, right not, now. not to work. Um, <laughs> yeah, you and Ocean. Ocean. Are you, are you only I think, the I think it's better. I think it's better if you don't, Sigurd. <laughs> are you yeah. already here the conversation and ask? I mean, there is a fucking corpse on there. What happens if we win? <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> I thought Bouncy just legit lost in that now. <laughs> that was such a genuine laugh. That was very good. Um, Mr. Barkeeper, I have a question. Hmm. Oh, by the way, it's Maximilian Silverwing. Oh, well, how? <laughs> That's my name. Well, I did. I didn't catch it. Sorry. Maximilian Max. Silverwing. Maximilian. Max. Uh, is, is it okay <laughs> if I call you Maximilian? Yes. Max Hero Brian. Um, oh no. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question. For you. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> please, um, an please ask your question. We um we were at the bar. Um, yes. In Parles Crossing, about two weeks' travels from here. What? And it was the exact same. It looked the exact same. There was the same person in the back. Mm -hmm. um, is that like a trademark of you guys? You could say that. So there's more places like this? No. So there's only two? No. So there is more? So no. So there is more? <laughs> so you're being stupid. There's, no. So there's no? only one? Yes. And you just... Wait, but what about the one in Palace Crossing? How what does about that it? work? Huh? How does that work? What do you mean? Because right now we're in Quartermaster Sockbound. Yes. And in Palace Crossing there is a bar exactly the same. You just said there's only one of these No, bars. there isn't. <laughs> yeah, there is. We, what? We were there. You were? Yeah. Yes. I'm um, sorry, we don't own a bar in Paris Crossing. Alright, alright, I can prove it. There are two uh, halflings uh, fighting in the kitchen. And yes. they have knives with them. Mm -hmm. How would I know that? Well, because you um, so rudely barged in there when they were in the middle of cooking your food. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> You're playing <laughs> mind <laughs> games. <laughs> that, that didn't happen over here. Yeah. No, it happened here. Is it the same bar? Uh, yeah, so yeah, you're trying to be... Oh, cool. This is some kind of marketing gag, yeah, right? You're telling us you moved the bar between those two places? What? Mm. You heard me. No, I did hear you. I just don't understand what you're saying. Fuck off. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're 100% sure there's yes. not a tavern called the Gilded Dragon in Powell's Crossing. No, there is only one Gilded Dragon. It's the one I own. Okay. Do you have someone working here um, behind the bar? Or in chair? Sleep? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all I want to know. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Try not to think so much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that guy's a weirdo. I know, right? He's just denying the fact that but there's a bar like this. I don't know. There Maybe he tra yeah, he probably traveled at the same time. Like he he something. was working in his other bar, saw all of that happen. Something's up here, dude. Oh wait, but if then if I should enter this kitchen, then there wouldn't actually be two halflings that are fighting, right? Because that would be way too weird of a coincidence. You can try. I'll you you you, you already heard the shouting. Yeah, I heard shouting, but if it's the same two halflings, like I don't remember them actually, but I'll just check if there's a. Let's two just see if they Mac remember you. The Maximilian will stop you before you reach further. I'd be careful. They don't usually miss twice. Well, they didn't miss last time, yeah. <laughs> just gonna have a quick check. Uh, where is the door locked? The door's not locked. 
All right, I peeked my head in just to see if that was the two halfling. Stealth check. Oh my god. <laughs> He's trying to get and a knife in his eye. In the head, oh. it's a headshot, dude. Oh, plus uh, 21. 21. You open the door very slightly, and you do see the two halflings arguing furiously at, at the uh, table. One is, like, chopping up some carrots, but also, like, pointing the knife right at the other person while they're stirring some soup. And they just seem to be going at it, and they are, in fact, the same two you saw last time. Alright, so this is creepy. Those are the same as X2 halflings. Did he take them with him? Alright, this is just this Some, weird. Up here. Something's up here. This whole town, this whole business with the carriages and... Well, we could keep fighting this weird reality or we could, you know, just give in, become slaves and that's that, right? Peace of mind. I choose the ladder. Oh uh, yeah, Vatu, you don't know any about this, but... Just trust us on this. This is weird. Fatu, I'll fill you in. I, I'll fill you in, Fatu. Okay, so... We woke up in Parles Crossing, about two weeks travel from here. Hang on, may um, I stop you one second? Yes, of course. Vatu, you had the same exact dream as they did. Okay. Um... We all woke up in a tavern, having a dream. We all had the same dream, it was a dream. It ended with us um, looking over a horizon, something like that. I don't quite remember him. Yeah, I don't remember. We all had the same dream. Um, and it was this exact bar. Um, Sigurd and I just checked. The same person is in the back. Every room is the same. No one's coming in, no one's leaving. Something is off here. The bartender just saw this that um, Secret got attacked in this bar. He didn't. He got attacked in Prowl's Crossing, and he's denying that there is a bar in Prowl's Crossing. So something is off here. It possibly be coincidence. Perhaps it is fate. Well, it'd be a pretty fucking wild coincidence, but yeah, like I said, we can just accept this for whatever it is. Like, well, digging seems to not heal too much, I don't have any leads, so just keep drinking. Let's just think we drank enough. Well, what, what, what you're suggesting, do you have any plans? Any better ideas? <clears throat> do you say Orc Man? I, I think we should call it a night, guys. Um, this place is creeping me out. All right, do so you all lodge at the Coachman Headquarters, or do you lodge here? I'm going to the Coachman Headquarters. Coachman Headquarters. Yeah, we're, 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 Well, you guys are going to have to drag my body out. Yeah. You can piggyback her right me. By the next million, hands you all the bill. It is, um, two silver for the two mugs of ale. And mm -hmm. ten gold for the two drinks. Ah! <laughs> oh, do we have ten gold? The answer's no, good sir. <laughs> How much no. was ours, Bouncy? Um, five uh, silver each. It, it was two silver for the two mugs okay, of well, ale and oh, ten two. and ten gold for both drinks, so five <laughs> gold apiece. But do we have that much gold? No. <laughs> We do not, we are poor. It's Jesus so Christ. <laughs> Didn't you guys get paid for your job? They had two gold. They got two gold. <laughs> yeah, we got two gold. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> yes. Yes. I guess you guys have to pull your funds. Uh, uh, that still doesn't work. Can we, like, run? <laughs> yeah, I can, you're, you're, you're knocked down the, from uh, alcohol poisoning, dude. The deception check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was that behind you? <laughs> I, I give him something from my explorer's pack as a payment. What do you give him? Mm, anything to cover up the charges. Oh. You gotta give me an item. Yeah. Um, I give him two of my javelins. 
two javelins. So, if I were to pull up the equipment section for the PHP to see what the price of javelin is, the resale price of all items back to something or to somebody is half the price. Wait, so that no, means no, no, no. two javelins right. is the price of five silver. <laughs> That's half a gold. Well, that's part of the payment. <laughs> um, can I just, you no. know, act shocked, point behind him, and say, oh my god, what's that? As a deception. Let's not get wanted again. <laughs> let, let him do the deception. Come on, I can't do anything. <laughs> I am uh, you, can roll for, you can roll for deception if you want. Uh, 25. 25. His head does not move from staring directly at you. Yo, he's a fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I remain standing for the, for the moment. I'm assuming y'all would like to open up a tab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, I can't afford this shit, what the fuck? This is bullshit! <laughs> Very well, please bring me something worth double the value the next time you visit. Hey, okay. what, what, what kind of interest is that? Uh, my listen interest. Here. Yeah. Listen here, I am not mentally stable right now. And I we failed so horribly at trying to convince him that we're innocent. Or that we can, you know, you know, just deceive him. So let's just put it on the tab and maybe next time he might forget. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and so, then you all leave, and you all rest up at the headquarters. You get some side glances from staff members. I think you may recognize a servant or two, and one's peering from the window. Um, you all retire. You all get your own individual rooms in this ginormous manor, all next to each other. I swear to God, if we have to open up another tab for a mansion room. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, Good. The night passes uneventfully. Right and when you all wake up in the morning, peer out the window and you see Siegfried at his carriage. Alright, we go down to him, right? Alright. He is just doing some general maintenance, checking the wheels, the axles, making sure they're tight, dressing the horses, brushing them, stuff like that. He doesn't regard any of you. Hey, rude, I sit down in the carriage. <laughs> Uh, AC Creed, we're um, ready for the job. Mm hmm. Hi. <laughs> Hello, um, C Creed. So where are we going? Where do Hello. we go? Where are we going? Out. And then you'll two? go onto the driver's <laughs> seat. What? Just say, Come on, get in C Creed. The, I thought we were like carriage? buddies. What the hell? Come on, we're C Creed. Were you in right? No, of course not. <laughs> give, me, give me a perception check. Me? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> um Perception, perception. Where is it at? At the P of perception. Yeah, well I'm looking. Um it's uh, next blind? to your armor class in, in line to the right. To the right? I see initiative. Well, I see proficiency. No no I no, see no, no. Oh. I'm in, all the way on the left. the hind of where it says armor. There you go to the right. The little menu. What? I have never done perception checks. Everyone else says it for me. Oh, I found it. Okay. What? <laughs> 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 All right, ready? Three, two, one. I'm rolling. I got a three. That is awesome. A three. Yes. You noticed nothing, but as a reminder <laughs> of Siegfried, um, he is a rather well dressed, though, with, with old clothes. They seem to be worn in. Uh, he's got a large hunch, and a hunch back. Um, he, he appears to be pretty old, with long gray hair, uh, sort of tattered, a little, little matted, but largely, uh, his expression right now that you can read is kind of blank. 
Wait, does he not have like the um the gear that the other coachmen wear? You know, the um Colt ropes. gear that we found? The yeah, ropes. the ropes. Yeah. He is yeah. not wearing the rope. He is wearing traveling clothes. Can I ask him why he's not wearing the robe? It's the robes are more of a, a formality for meetings. They are less so a uniform. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, if you all load into the carriage, um, he will quietly lead you all out of the city. If anyone wants to do a perception check on him before you leave the city, you may. Yes. Well, I failed. Perception. Don't rely on me for that. Tree. Perception check? Yes. 11 perception is <laughs> wisdom. Nah. 11. 11. With that, you can get it. Um, talking to Horkin and, and stuff like that, you notice that um, he's definitely being very brusque in his statements. Um, you, you get the sense that he's holding back something. Like, not holding back information, but like holding back a reaction. You know what I mean? Yeah, he probably just hates us, you know, and doesn't want to show it. <laughs> and so... You all quietly navigate through the city. And so you will um, exit the city. He will, you will leave the city. And as soon as you are about five minutes out from the city, Siegfried bursts out laughing. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, this old guy just. I, I whisper to the other ones that uh, this old guy just keeps getting weirder and weirder. My character laughs too because he thinks it's funny. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's going mad too, huh? <laughs> Joke of the man. What was that? Mind telling us to joke, old man. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I I haven't seen Maida this worked up in years. This is fantastic. You guys are the best. I know. Yeah, we're awesome. Oh, man. It's good to have you all on board. And then uh, he's actually rather, like, really smiley as he uh, leaves the carriage down the way. And so you all will make your way through travel. If you have any questions for Siegfried, you can ask them now. I uh, to talk to him. <laughs> you refuse to talk to him? How come? Um, he's just being weird as a dick. <laughs> <laughs> he's being weird. <laughs> Can I play rock, paper, scissors um, with I, him? I, I asked rest of the crew, so... So what's the deal with this guy? You don't seem to like him. Yeah, well, he's obviously crazy, so maybe that's why the land he has us in, in his uh, slavery. Like, uh, why would I like him? No, I'm best friends with him, don't worry. Oh. We're like good pals. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Why don't you go marry him then? Okay, fine. <laughs> He's gonna stop me, huh? <laughs> Are you saying this quietly, or can he hear you? I, I'm. My character will be loud. I feel like. Yeah, this is getting loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how does he react? <laughs> yeah, how does he react? <laughs> <laughs> he, he chuckles. Talking shit behind his back, so how no, would he? No, I react? said I was gonna well, kind of in front of his mean? back now. <laughs> he, he 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 just audibly chuckles. Okay, okay, everybody. Perhaps, perhaps maybe we have gotten off the wrong foot here. Oh, yeah, Maida have. is a different case. What she says, you can either you know take it for what it is, or don't. The fact of the matter is, is that the coachmen honestly really do not 
care if you run away. We don't have the resources to find you. We will not invest into finding Fuck. you. Guys, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> However, you do have a lot of value for us. Um, so Are you, you saying we should you guys run away? Are poor and <laughs> spend your assets? <laughs> no, no, I should say, I'm saying you should stop seeing this as forced work, and more so as an opportunity to get, to be a part of something more than just you. So we get paid. So we are... Able let to me... You want? Let me please explain this in such a way as that I feel like I am doing my contractual duty to Mida, but also, <laughs> um... Let you all have a bit more of a freedom of what you want to do. Uh, Mida has assigned us to clear out the undead within this crypt that has been causing trouble on the road. She did not say to return any of the items that you may find in said crypt. Ooh. Ah, I see. See, guys, he does like us. If he didn't like us, he uh -huh, wouldn't be telling uh -huh. us this stuff. See, well, we're like then, best bros. Uh, what do you get we're like from bros this? Like, are you gonna loot as well? Uh, I imagine you're just gonna fuck off into the woods like last time. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'll be waiting in the carriage. So, Fair. what's your cut? I'm just taking you there. So you don't get anything so from... you don't want anything from, like, items we find? Any artifacts? Whatever? No, no. But the... Uh -huh. The... But the whole entire nature of the coachman is to secure safe travel for everybody along the roads. What I gain from this is safer travel on the roads, as the undead in this area seem to have been an issue of late. Seems reasonable enough. The coachmen are not bad people. Mm -hmm. I, I, we, we find ourselves having to defend this notion quite a lot, but I trust trust that we are not bad people. Well, he, he did free us from prison, so he has yeah, a point. Yeah, and he killed like 20 guards for it. <laughs> well... And quite honestly, the biggest vent gain that I get from all of this is to watch you all. This is hilarious. You know how funny it was to wake up to a very angry Mina talking about four adventures breaking her window? See, that was me, guys! Was... It took it me an hour to compose myself. So Alright, so this guy's all obviously sociopathic. Why would he find it's it all so in his boss's nah. man? <laughs> he saved us. Well, Shut well, up. I, I can't please. do the voice, but I <laughs> asked him what, what's his relationship with Mina. Mida's the boss. Mida is the one that does a lot of the administrative stuff, a lot of the paperwork, and a lot of the political nature of the coachman. I see. So do you like your boss? She's necessary for the coachman. So you're accepting her leadership for the good of the coachman? For the political... Uh, profile of the coachman. Politics. Tell more about Mida? Yes, if you will. There's not much else. The whole entire point of Mida is to be completely well known to everybody so people do trust her. Uh, an avid politician does a lot of good for a lot of the um, a lot of the incandescent orchard, a lot of the weld, does a lot in terms of securing trade relations among some of the more hostile areas, such as Octus Ray and Valor's Respite. Completely pretty boring, to be quite honest. That's why it's so funny to me that he just broke her window. <laughs> <laughs> That was me. That was me. You saw. You thought my actions were. Oh funny. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah well, it, yeah, okay. Let's well, just. Of course, it doesn't yeah, matter. Of course, well, if there should be more windows of to course. be broken, I'll, you yeah, know where to I'll find us. Yeah. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is that the value that the coachmen truly do treasure is the value of people that know how to do something and do something with intention. And that is why. I had to kill the entirety of the guard barrack instead of four prisoners. Oh, 
across the guard. So well, I'm glad you didn't kill us, yeah, dude. Right, got it. I, I had so much fun smashing that window. Is there any more? Do we get to smash any more windows? I don't think there's going to be very many windows in the crypt, but I mean, you're invited to smash Maida's windows as many times as you want. Will you cover for me if I smash the windows? Absolutely. That is awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'm beginning to like the secret guy, even though he threatened me in the back room. <laughs> secret is cool. <laughs> He's the cool kid. Siegfried's the cool grandpa that lets you get away with stuff. Yes. He's like the yeah. one that'll stop well, for ice cream even though dad says no. <laughs> well, the core masters have been the good allies with me and my warband back in the day, so mm. you can trust them. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's just keep going, right? Yep. Yeah, let's keep going. If you have any other questions, you may ask them now, otherwise we will fast forward to the entrance of the dungeon. I don't have any questions. I'm yep. ready to fight. Kill! Oh, I want to no, ask no, one no. more time. Sigurd, do you like me? <laughs> <laughs> You're insecure. <laughs> it's, it's fun to watch all of you, I swear. I, you all of you know I was asking about me specifically. <laughs> oh, gee, right. <laughs> I, want, I want the grandpa to like me specifically, okay? You gotta earn that. Damn. <laughs> no, I was just asking that and be like, get a load of this guy. <laughs> he, he's just kind of like, amuses to myself. I've never had underlings that have just been s so out there. I, it was hard enough to maintain composure when you blew up my carriage, but as soon as you did that to Midas' window, oh my god. <laughs> okay, and so now we will fast forward. Um, so excited. Siegfried will pull off of the road somewhere around here and head towards the swamp some ways. The road is a lot more rough as there is now no longer a road. And eventually, you will come to a dilapidated small stone structure with iron bars um, covering the entrance. So and Siegfried in. will stop and say, this is the crypt. Clear it out, take whatever you want, and we'll head back. Cool. All right, yeah, I'll try to open it. Will you be safe out here, Siegfried? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, I go in first. I lead. I'm going. Uh, the iron bars are stopping you from moving. Can I open the iron? Can I, like, rip off the iron bars? Athletics check. That is awesome. Okay, let me do it. Athletics. Hey, yo, I got that natural 20! Fantastic. <laughs> 23. <laughs> All right, Th this is the part where I must tell the players not to look at my stream as the fog okay. of war will okay. reveal the okay. areas. So, no more looking at the stream, you guys. Okay. Okay. I love you, chat. Bye, Thinking chat. About you. Bye. So, with a natural 20 roll from Tahorkin, Tahorkin walks up to these bars, cracks his neck, and just takes them off the stone. <laughs> Like, they don't bend, they just come off. <laughs> Pieces of rock and rubble are on the ends of them. It doesn't really seem to matter. And you all are... You all see stairs going down. Dilapidated, ruined stairs. Cool. Alright, I walk down well, stairs. Yeah. <laughs> There is no light down here. If you do not have dark vision, you cannot see. I have dark, I have dark vision. vision. I we do not. Have... Can I you hold someone's hand as we go down? <laughs> all right, yeah, I don't, I don't have dark vision either. We uh, hold hands. I have a torch. Wait, do I have dark vision? Oh. I have a torch. I could light that. You can light a torch, sure. Okay. Yeah, um, no I don't think Tieflings have well, dark vision. I, I light the torch so the others can see. We can still vision. hold our hands. Yeah, yeah, I have dark vision, yeah. Or Seagward, we can still hold hands, okay? Yeah, Alright. Yeah, sure. So, do you light okay. a torch or do you... 
Um, yes. Okay, you light a torch, and you are greeted by a very long hallway. Hello. Hello. It's, Hello. Hello. it's a five foot wide, you can only single file down here. You see a large brass door at the end, and six wooden doors adjacent from each other, lining the hallway. And I need to get not smooth jazz playing when we're in the middle of a crypt, please, for love of good- <laughs> 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 just in the dark, we're like. Dur, 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 dur. There's got to be a Halloween post or something in here. <laughs> Spooky. Here we go. Fantastic. This is where the dungeon crawl begins, and you all dictate where you go by moving your characters. I'm excited. Sick. Can you see? Oh right, you guys don't see your character. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I still see we're, the we're overhead still, map. We're, we're oh right, you guys aren't here. I'm not no. here. <laughs> we're still in the cave. Here you go. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I am cool because I have this thing. What thing? Um. How do I hide our characters from the thing? Hide? What do you mean? Well, well not well, the avatars, I mean. Oh, can you guys not control them? I can. You can't, well, I you can't just, control you can... them, but I mean our avatar pictures. You can move, oh, uh, are uh... you talking about the ones at the bottom? You can move yes. it, you just grab next to your name, and you can like scroll, move it up or down. Anywhere you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no problem. And so let me explain some dungeon crawl mechanics, at least for me. Dungeons. This dungeon will incorporate most things that all good dungeons have. There will be enemies, there will be riddles, there will be puzzles, there oh, will no. be traps, there will be hidden rooms. And there are a number of hidden rooms within this place. And whenever you discover one, you will unlock an additional treasure roll at the end. Basically, your intention here is you have two. One, complete the quest, which is to rid this place of undead. Two, get loot. And by getting loot, you will be getting treasure rolls, and then we'll do that at the end. There is also additional non-treasure loot that you can find within the area. But that is neither here nor there, and that's usually relied on the creativeness and what you want to put in your bags. Okay. I will let you know when you unlock a treasure roll, and we'll understand what treasure roll is at the end. Okay. Cool. I'm not going first in line. I'll go first. Wait, do we still have the torch? I... Yes. Yeah. Ask me the torch, I... bitch. I go Can first. I, like, maybe make a perception check <laughs> of this hallway? You may make yeah. a perception check, perception check of this hallway. <clears throat> um, don't we need to roll the initiative to see who goes first? No, That's you're not in combat. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, then let me see. Perception. Eleven. Eleven. The stonework of this long hallway has long since been ruined. There is not much left. The tiles are worn and cracked. The walls have pictures, but they're all too far faded to tell what they once were. With an eleven, the only thing you can really make out from these pictures is that they all seem to be in memory of one person. A humanoid figure, but you cannot make out what race. I see. Um, so can we, like, while we're walking down the hallway, make, like, um, constant perception checks for hidden doors, like, I might that is to your... be on the lookout, or... That is your passive perception. Um, that's a 13. That's a 13? That's actually a fair point. What is the highest passive perception amongst this party? Oh, uh, so we all got a roll for it? Or... No, 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 this is not a roll. Everybody, some people uh, might not know what this is. 10. Um, where, do you, where do you see that? Let me explain. Beneath the skills is, uh, 
slow motion. For us, for us, it's underneath the saving throws. It'll say senses, and then it'll say perception, investigation, or insight. Oh, um, yeah. It's eight. So it's thirteen to highest passive perception. Cure, what's yours? Right. Are you still there? Have you muted? Yeah. <laughs> Kira gets snatched away. Uh oh. Kira? Kira? Hello? Oh, oh there, there you are. Okay. Hey, we can hear you now. What? Uh, what's your passive perception? 10? 10. Okay, right, so, so 13 is the highest. I will keep this in mind as you progress, and I'll let you know if you notice anything. Okay. Cool. Then I will go first. I'll walk down this hallway. Alright. And I will follow closely. <laughs> and I try not to be last because I don't want to be last either. Okay. Well. I, oh wait! No, no, no! I want to be last. I, I'm last. <laughs> All me, boys. I'll lead us. I got the shield. Let's go. Some wooden stuff on the side. What is that? Those are two yeah, doors. Wooden okay, doors. Okay, I want to go in the right one. You want to go in the right <laughs> one. Yes. You open the right door. Okay. And what you see is a hall with moldy, rotten food, oh. instruments scattered around. <laughs> Before you step in, you also see six corpses at all the chairs. Ah. There's an instrument right there. What? Oh. <laughs> you step in. Stop. Roll for initiative. Okay. Okay. Um. Do we just do the twenty? Is that what we? You roll do the for twenty it? plus your initiative. Yes. Okay. Everyone? Everybody. I'll explain what you see in one second as I get this ready myself. I got a 12. I got a 20. 19. 18. Well, I'm last. <laughs> 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 the first person that walks in is the winner. That's the lowest number. Okay. You're just so shocked. Kira, don't you have a dexterity? <laughs> My character her? trips and falls as he walks in. Uh-oh. With, with the mother for it's 19. Oh, the music box, guys. Goodbye, music box. Oh, he's back. Hi! And so... Let me get up the stat block of what you are fighting as these corpses <gasps> seem to animate and begin to shamble towards you. That's so cool. I don't <laughs> think I need to hide what these things are from you as they are, in fact, zombies. Wow. Zombie fight! That's awesome! Tyrannosaurus okay, zombie. zombie! That's a thing? Okay, never mind. You guys are fighting a Tyrannosaurus zombie. Yeah! What? <laughs> I'm kidding. What? I just I randomly found it while searching in D&D Beyond. All the bodies just <laughs> melt together and form a Tyrannosaurus. A super yes. zombie. It's dinosaur shaped. <laughs> I'm so stoked for this, dude. Okay, so I would Here's like the die. initiative of uh, Vatu. Uh, it's 19. 19. I would like the initiative of... Zeekward. 19 as well. Who's got the high dexterity between both of you? I've got plus 4. Eight. Oh, so I 18 in total. My mine is plus 1. Okay, so Zeekward would go before. After before. I would music. like... The it's the cyberpunk music. music. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm. <laughs> I would like the initiative of Oshore. Twenty. Oh, okay. And the initiative of Tahorkin. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Got it. <laughs> so I fell on the way in. This will be Oshore's turn as the six zombies begin to move and sham. And there's also God. more than just the six zombies. I have lost this token. Uh, you see that chunk of dirt. Congratulations. Um, uh, it has been leaked. There, there's also a skeleton um, at the piano, but he is not moving. Is he going to play the piano? The piano is very much broken. Uh, magic. He, he's magic. He can play magic piano. I don't know. So please take your turn. Oh, sure. <clears throat> um... Wait, are are they gonna melt together to a T-Rex or? No, that was a, that was a meme. 
That wasn't me. Oh, oh. <laughs> you guys would die if I made a zombie Tyrannosaurus Rex fight. Yeah. Actually, hang on. But, but let me just double check I that. Even be room for it, right? Uh, let me check. Let me check if you guys. Yeah, that's die. how they die. They melt together and then the ceiling falls. Yeah, on they it. clip into the wall and. Oh, I gotta buy two of Annihilation <laughs> to get the zombie Tyrannosaurus Rex. Never mind. I'm not buying anything for that. Oh. It okay. I um want to cast Eldritch Blast on this one. Understood. You may do this. Okay, so I roll for the hit this unit first, right? You rolled a hit, yes. Uh, ten. Ten. You hit it. Oh, cool. Okay. Enough for damage. <laughs> One damage. <laughs> One damage. <laughs> nice. Proud. Did you say one? <laughs> yes, one. Got a singular it. damage. A singular damage. You mildly upset this zombie with your spooky magic. <laughs> <laughs> Zigward, your turn. Um, so, if I get out my bow and I try shooting them, then do the people standing in front of me block them and I would most likely hit them instead? I mean, of you I'm... have to hork in right in front of the door right now, and so No yeah. Shore's pretty big too, so I would say they would have half cover, meaning they have plus five to the race. No, is that, is that, is it, is it plus five? Hang on, I think it might be plus like three. One second. It gets a plus two, they would get plus two to their AC, and if you hit, if you hit within that plus two, uh, you will hit your friendly instead. Uh, and what about if I do the you. same thing, but with so my rapier? You have I to guess. get into melee range. Uh, and I can't do that from back there, right? You can move okay. in between friendly spots. Oh, right. Uh, uh, so, do that, and I don't know. You can just check how, how much. Yeah, that, is, that, that zombie yeah. is 10 feet away from you. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You would have to move in front of Ocean. Front of him. I'm, I'm just going to wait this turn. <laughs> You're going to wait this turn? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the whole point of my character. <laughs> fair, fair. Vato, your turn. Swing my great axe at this, this one. Got it. Uh. Fuck. Two. <laughs> Two. You. So you gotta add yes. stuff. Oh, make sure you you're adding your proficiency bonus uh, plus your strength modifier. Um, two plus four, six, eight. That's that is its armor class. Huh? That's so, that's the armor class. So you actually do hit it. Nice. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. And then what do I roll for damage? It would be a d12 plus your strength modifier. Uh, 9, 13. 13? Yeah. Alright. Vatu comes over and cleaves a zombie, completely taking off one of its arms. It is bloodied <laughs> and very upset about that fact. Well, yeah. it ain't dead. No, it's <laughs> half health, dude. The zombie. Oh. So they have 28 health. I mean, it's dead, but it can be deader. <laughs> Fair. To Horkin, do your turn. That at toxic damage. No, I'm kidding. Um, I guess we'll just like, because the problem is, is I don't want to be like shoved in this area with everyone else. I feel like that would make it harder to fight. Oh, you can move. You can move. Um, you can you can move this far. Yeah. You can move. Okay. Reason. I Where guess do I'll you move... find the ruler? It's, it's, I'll move, I'll move over here. I'll, 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 I'll move over here and then. Um, the I guess the, I can the, the ice from press the, the zombies. Okay, don't. Ice press. That would be a 15 foot cone, press. so you would get both of those zombies. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll take care of both of them then. Um, let's see here. Does that inflict Action. the movement restrictions to them as well? Uh, let me read it real quickly. For it. it just it says as an action once per rest, exhale in a 15 feet cone. Uh, for two, it doesn't say if that does anything to him. And fantastic. What is the saving throw? Uh, what would be the saving throw for it? What would I read for that? Uh, it would be with breath weapon. Let's see. Ah, stop it. One second. You 
You are a white dragon, so you do cold damage. It's a con saving throw, and the DC is your 8 plus your con modifier plus your proficiency. 8 plus my con modifier. So what would that... Okay, so I have to do 8 plus my con constitution and then plus my proficiency. So it's plus 4 on my uh, constitution and then... Proficiency is plus two bonus for yes. that. So it would be plus six in general. So what would so what would I roll for this? Just roll the No, uh... no, I roll. Oh, okay. It's a saving cool. throw. So okay. what is the so... what is the DC? Uh con DC is twelve, half damage on success. Eight proficiency, that's two. We have a plus four, it should be fourteen, yes? Or do you have plus oh, two okay. con? Plus four con plus, plus four two con bonus. So that would make it a 14 DC. Okay. So you do you use your breath weapon. You go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Uh, nine. Nine. You use your breath weapon to chill both of these zombies. However, they seem to be quite resistant to it. They will only take four damage apiece. And I did something. <laughs> All right, and it is now their turn. Oh no! <laughs> um, this zombie is going to stay where it's at and attack Vatu. Let me see the movement on these things. I see. Okay, so five, ten, fifteen. There we go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. This one will dash up to here. This one can hit you. This one will hit you. This one will hit you next turn. So we have one attack on Vatu. Oh shit. <laughs> I am getting ganked over here. <laughs> I'll come help. <laughs> so uh, I think you're busy yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, you're Vatu, yeah. there's a 12 hit. Me. Come help me, Seaward. No. Oh sure. Does a 5 hit. Nope. Alright, Tahorkin. Does a 8 hit. Nope. Wow, I'm putting this die away. It missed all the times. <laughs> This one's going a timeout. I'm getting a new one. All right, that's their turn. Oh no! Uh, you do it on my, on me? <laughs> no, no, they both missed. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Oh sure, your turn. Oh wait, uh, bouncy, real quick. Um, uh, yes. You're playing the music through announcements. I see. By the way, yeah, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> and I um... also have to use the restroom, so I'll be back. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to hold it in. But Why I am I an idiot? Okay, I I'll be back. I, I hate myself. Do we continue? Do we wait for cash? We wait for cash. Continue. Like, um, oh, well, I go... Does get attacked? Yeah, I go for here, and I cast Eldridge Blast on this one. Okay, one second. You will take two attacks opportunity. What What do I do? You are engaged with two zombies currently. You cannot leave them without being threatened. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Would you like to take that move back? <clears throat> Which one? That's how unfortunate. That opportunity attack was a natural 20. Oh, God. So what does that mean? It means that you cannot move unless you want to take the disengage action. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't. So can I attack one of these two? Yes, you, can, you may attack one of them, yes. Okay, um, I would like to... Hit this one with uh, my mace. Okay, no. Roll the hit. <clears throat> uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two to hit. You do hit. Yes. This is okay. the most injured one. And I roll five damage. Five damage. It looks pretty hurt, but it is still standing. Zigward, your turn. Um, so I take my rape here and start. Oh, wait, maybe I should relocate a little bit closer. There. And start stabbing at the one right in front of me. This one. Um, okay. So it's a right, roll for hit is 6 plus. Uh, the rapier proficiency does it also go into the hit? It doesn't. It goes into the into whether or not you can hit. It does not go into damage. Oh, it does not. All right. So it's uh, 
And the dex, does that go into hit or the dex, the dex goes into uh, the chance to hit as well. Dex right, goes into both. Okay. Resistance only goes into the chance to hit. Alright, so 10. 10 to hit, that does hit. Alright, so then roll damage. Let's see, let's see, let's see, 88. 3 plus... Um, right, that, that does take proficiency right here. Uh, so it's plus 2 plus 4, 6. Uh, it's 9. 9 damage. 9 damage on that one. That is a fresh one. Well, fresh, air quotes. And it is hurt now. Congratulations. Hey, suck it. <laughs> is that bloody? No, it is not. Okay. Uh, wait, um, what about this whole um, sneak attack thing with rogues? How does that work? Where you have sneak attack because Oshore is next to you. You may roll that. Oh. Um, how do I roll that? I... You don't know your sneak attack damage? Oh, oh, no, I got it right, written down. It's a, oh, it's a d6. Uh, mm -hmm. Do I have any proficiencies on that one? No. Alright, so it's just one extra damage. One d6, are you sure? <laughs> uh, one d6. I, I wrote down d6 next to it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, it might be two. Let me check real quick for you. No, it's one d6. You're correct. Yeah, so it's just one damage. One extra damage. Alright. And with that, we will move on to Vatu's turn. Uh, can I reach and, and then do something? You may. Okay, um, I reach first and then use one of my gels on this one. You're going to throw to that one? Yeah. That would be a disadvantage, because you have somebody in combat with you. You have two, actually. I have advantage or disadvantage. When when Dis there when there are enemies within melee range of you, they impose disadvantage on all ranged attacks. Okay, then then I rage and swing my great sword on the one above me. Got it. That is the most weak one. Kira, by the way, you can ping if you hold down left mouse. Oh, a natural yeah, twenty. Just... A natural yeah, twenty. Okay. That means that you roll double the dice. Uh, 9 plus 13 and proficiency in shrink. 50 damage. Alright, you get very <laughs> mad at these zombies. And you raise your great axe above your head and you cleave the zombie into two. Uh, brain slops out. Um, nice. All kinds of bad things leak out of the zombie it is not getting up it is very much back to being completely dead cool that's one down oh yeah and it's now to horkin's turn okay um i guess i'll just go and uh which ones were the zombies that i did damage to that would be the t these two on the chair okay um i'll just swing at the one that's right in front of me then uh understood Whatever it is, I can't think. Anyways, um, and then I'll just swing my short sword at him, so. Alright. Um. One dam- are you- s oh wait, plus three, four damage. You gotta roll to hit first. Oh yeah, 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 my bad. And that's a 20, so. Yes. <laughs> okay. Why- what- what- uh oh. <laughs> D ignore me for a second. Okay. Um, how long does Rachel Natural 20. As well. Uh, what was that, uh, Cash? Uh, natural 20. Natural the, 20? That's um, a critical. So double the damage dice. Okay, um, so the one, because I already rolled for the short sword damage before I did that one, so, and that one was four, so would that be eight for damage? Uh, you or have you to roll, roll, roll another die. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, alright, six and four. Six and four, okay. so... 10, Ten yes, plus your strength. Plus my strength. Okay, Butterfly. uh, that's plus 3, so 13. So 13 total damage on that one. It is looking uh -huh. really bad. Uh, <laughs> Kira, to answer your question, rage lasts... Um... Is there, is there a set? I don't think there's a... A set time limit. It might be 10 minute rage. It lasts for one minute. 
or until you're knocked unconscious, or until a full turn of you not attacking and you not taking damage occurs. Mm, so you, so you either... have to keep raging then? No, no, no. You have to maintain rage by either taking damage or by attacking. Okay. And so, yeah, that zombie is looking very bad right now. And it is now their turn. So we have one on Vatu. Does a 15 hit you? Yes. All right. Finally, some damage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> please take... Oh my fucking god. Please take oh three damage. God. Okay, I'm on 11. And we will have one on Oshwar again. Um, sorry, but what does Unarmored Defense do? Because I have it. Unarmored Defense is the basically how barbarians handle armor. Um, it's basically... Da, da, da. Your armor class equals. Let me see. Where can I? Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Unarmored defense is ten plus your dex plus your con, and that means that's your armor class. So what is your dexterity score? Uh, dex is plus one, con is plus three. So that means uh your armor class is fourteen. Yeah. Got it. And so, we're gonna have one attack on Oshor. Does an 18 hit you? Um, yes, but can I use Hellish Rebuke for that? Yes, you may. Okay, the hit DC is 13. It's a saving throw, and is it a con for me? Uh, Dex. Dex, Dex for me. They yes. fail, so roll your damage too, and also take two damage from their attack. Um. 11. And I take 2? Yeah. You take 2 damage, they take 11 as fire yes. envelops them and it starts to make the room really just stinky. <laughs> and so. Be sure to mark off that spell, and we will move on to the 3 attacking to Horkin. How do I, how do I mark it off in... Oh dang. <laughs> in, um, can I, I mark it off in D&D Beyond? Or... You should be able to mark it off in D&D Beyond, yes. In your spell section. What's your armor class to Horkin for the sake of quickness? Uh, 14. Um, it doesn't let one me hits mark, and mark it one off. is a natural 20. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna die all alone. Just give mental here. note of how many you, um, you, 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 uh, cast in Beetle. Yeah. Well, you should only cast a one right now, so level one warlock, correct? Yeah, yeah. So that's your spell. So let me roll the yes. stamina real quick. These zombies are pelting to Horkin. So it's three. That is going to be seven. That is going to be eleven. That is going to be thirteen damage on to Horkin. Oh my god. Well, I am oh my god. gone. I'm dead, guy. You, to Horkin oh no. is pelted by zombies and they fall down, bleeding out. I should clarify one thing. We are now at the first point where somebody has been downed, I believe, yes? I was at zero HP. You were at zero HP, but you backed out. But now we are at yeah, the cool. death state. I should clarify. Oh God. To Horkin is too injured to move. If nothing is done, they will die. Probably, maybe. There's a chance they will die. Oh fuck. To Horkin will be making Thank death God. saving throws for the rest of their turns You're unless they are healed or stabilized. They are not unconscious but they are not able to take any more actions besides free actions. Okay, fair enough. And this <laughs> is where I invite you all to have a choice in the ruling. Um, for other tables, I have a homebrew ruling where I make the death saving throws. That way you don't know when you're going to die or when you're going to be stabilized. Um, you have the choice to let me make them, or you can make them yourself. Well, I would say let's make, let's make Bouncy make them up. Yeah, yeah you do it, I don't care. You want me to do it? Fantastic. Yeah. Sure. So, I won't introduce any other homebrew rules just yet, because you guys are still learning, but eventually you'll be acquainted with all of them. This is the end of the zombie's turn. It is now Oshwar's turn. Yeah, um, maybe someone come help me. <laughs> can I can I walk over to um 
Control key and like drag him you away. Are, or you are engaged with a zombie right now. Wait, is he though? Uh, like, I'm engaged with this one? Right? Yes. Yeah, you are both engaged leave, right? with the zombie. Oh, he's well. Um, if I, I disengage, can I still drag him out? Or. Um, it would be a free action to drag them out. Um, I would probably be a athletics check though. To see if you can even drag them away. Works for me. I'm willing to try. An action disengage. All right, you may use your movement now. It's a free action <laughs> interactive to Horkin. Give me an athletics check. <laughs> see you zoom over to me. Please roll a good uh, one. Athletics Save. Check. Save me, come on, good one, uh, come on, buddy. Twelve. Twelve. You can... Let's see, you spent five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty of movement to get here. You can spend yes. one movement to drag them away. Yes! <laughs> so where can I drag them? Little roll, walk you up can to move them <laughs> any square over here. You can move them here, or you can move them here, or you can move them to where you are currently and move yourself back one. Yes, I would like to do the the, All the right. last one. Then do that. Sorry, yeah, I dragged you. Um, yeah. I just moved my character. Sorry. Yeah. All right. And that is everything besides a bonus action that you could probably do. Bonus action being. Um, I don't think you have too many bonus actions you can sneak do. Sneak attack. I did. That's a bonus action. I sneak don't think I have any. Is sneak attack a bonus sure. action? Uh, I think so. Even like, still, it is a class-specific bonus action, if it is. I'm not sure if I even have... You did not have sneak attack. I don't think you have any way to I hit don't. anybody right now. No. I don't think so. No, it is not a bonus action, Dacha. Alright. It yeah, just, I it, don't it even is, know what that means. <laughs> it, it means that it happens regardless. Um. That is your turn. Zigward, your turn. Yes. Uh, yeah, I stab at the same one. I, oops. Again, it's a roll. Thirteen plus four, um, seventeen. What's that? Seventeen. Uh, so seventeen to hit. hit. Yeah, that hits. So then that's two plus two plus four, uh, eleven damage. Eleven damage. Uh, plus the sneak attack. Uh, wait, can I do the sneak attack at this time? Because he's there is no damage. sneak attack now. All right, so it's just just the eleven damage. 11 damage. Let's see if I remember which one that is. Not these, it's this one. Got it. That zombie is looking really incredibly rough, barely standing. And so now it is Vatu's turn. Okay, I move over here and then take a swing at this one. Which one? Oh my gosh, nice. this is nice. That one? <laughs> Got it. Oh, dude. Yes. <laughs> Uh, 8 plus 4, 12. That hits. 14. And then damage. What boss is this again? 5. It's Gargoyles in Dexter's one. Uh, 5 plus 4, right? My strength modifier. Uh, 9 and then 11 damage. 11 damage, got it. You immediately bloody this creature. Dang. Ooh. I'm late. Like, uh. <laughs> it's a, a substantial hit. <laughs> Lopping off limbs left and right. It is gory up in here. Alright. I will now roll to Horkin's first death saving throw. Oh no. Please, has been please rolled. do something good for me. It is now the zombie's turn. The Horkin is gravely injured and cannot react to what is happening. Fair. <laughs> so, it's the zombie's turn. We have two on Zigward. Zigward, sorry, you are going to die too, man. Oh my Does a 10 hit you? <laughs> Does a 10 hit you? Uh, no. No, got it. How about a 22? <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Oh, uh, no, it's totally not. It's Please that, like, take so 7 damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are these zombies on? Drugs? Yes. 
<laughs> so that is a max Elder damage from the zombie. One. I took nine damage. How many you took seven. You took seven. seven. All right, yeah, all right. I, I flipped the numbers. Yeah, I took seven. It nine, is a substantial hit. Yeah. We have How three attacks on Vatu. What is Vatu's uh, armor class? Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> I had fourteen too. You're gonna die, dude. Let me. Where does zombie go? I lost my zombie. <laughs> Zombie well, wandered off in the middle of the fight. I hate some of the features of Roll20. Or not Roll20, D&D &D Beyond. Oh, you're using that too? Good. Yeah, I, I have all of my uh, source books on D&D &D Beyond, so I can just quickly search stuff. Mm. Fucking die, all of us. Alright, Yeah, on. thanks, Bounty, for making us die! <laughs> What is it? Oh, it is a plus three. So that's yeah, one. Yeah, this is the last session, guys. That's one hit. So that's two hits. That is three hits. All three zombies hit. Jesus um, Vatu. Oh so please take seven. Um, seven plus this equals. Oh God, math hurts. Um, eleven. <laughs> Twelve. I, I'm on eleven uh, hit points. Twelve. 15, 16, but you are yeah, raged, so you take- you. you are raged, so you only take half, so you will take oh. 8 damage. Woo! Hey, I'm on 3 health! Yeah, yes. boy, can we just leave? <laughs> no, because we gotta kill them all for the quest. Who cares? Oh, sure, it's your turn. I want <laughs> oh, it's my turn? Yes. Bloody gash in my chest, I am uh, dead, <laughs> you're wanting the I reward? Wanna... I want to cast um, Eldritch Blast on this one. Oh, Which no. one? <laughs> that one? Understood. Yes. Okay. Uh, does a <coughs> 21 hit? I assume yes. it does. It hits for 3 damage. 3 damage. Okay, dokie. Yes. It is looking really rough. But still standing. Jesus okay. Christ! Like, do they less damage when they're like basically dead? No, that no. doesn't matter. They're zombies. Why does it matter? They're on yeah, like if they can barely <laughs> move, like they can't hit us as strong. Zigord, right? it is your turn. Yeah, well, I stabbed the almost dead one again. All right. Uh, uh, eight plus uh, four was uh, twelve. Uh, twelve. That hits. Yeah, it hits right. Yeah, so it's eight plus. Um, nine damage. Nine damage. Okay, this zombie falls limp into a pile. Thank you. Thank you. We got one. <laughs> now don't two. hate me. Two, two. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Here's the hate. Take it. Um, it falls limp, but then it begins to crack and reassemble, and it is back Aww. up. Oh my um, god. I hate Why? Can I, like, uh, within my turn, still, like, um, walk into this door so they can only t attack me one at a time? The, the other one will still hit you. Uh, if I try to leave, like, as a disengage, or... If you, if you, if you disengage, you don't have... You, you cannot disengage, you already attacked with your action. Yeah, right. So, if you want to leave, you would take one opportunity attack from the one that was not brought down. And the one that uh, resurrected uh, can just attack the next turn, just uh, as the resurrected had, uh, one that has no opportunity to attack on you right now. Yeah, no, uh, but uh, once it has its next turn, it will just be it will attack able to again. Attack. Yes. Um, do I know to how much HP he resurrected? Like half? Or it is four? hanging on barely. Oh, all right, I'll sit down here. Hard on it. Uh, all right, so I'll just stand here. <laughs> but next, next turn. Yeah, you'll probably die this turn. Nah. Stab you with your <laughs> limbs. I don't know. <laughs> this is supposed to be balanced difficulty. Well, I'll wait behind one guy charging into three zombies. It's kind of, you know, part of a strategy. I was strategy. trying to spread out. I'm sorry. They're going to gank yeah, up spreading on it. It's not a smart strategy. <laughs> you could have said that before I moved. Sheesh. I'm starting to realize none of you are healers. Yeah. Yes. I see. Okay. Anyway, uh, it is uh, Vatu's turn. We're completely fine. 
Oh, I don't like I can do anything. I'm gonna fucking die. Just get out, man. <laughs> I'm just fucking off. Goodbye. Fuck this quest. Disengage? Are you disengaging? <laughs> to, to, tell, tell me the, that I give up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what can I do? Um, well, I mean, every zombie next to you is about dead. Just spin but can in I circles, take dude? just one swing at three of them at the same time? You cannot. You big what? It's a big axe. What the heck? No. Do you have any ranged stuff here? Because you could like move back and maybe throw something at him. You cannot move oh, back. I You're engaged. Oh, I have a javelin. I uh, take a swing at this guy. Fuck it. It's a 10, 14, 16. That hits, yes. And then 4, 8, 10 damage. 10 damage. And then Which zombie were you hitting? <laughs> this one. That one. Jerry, that one shit. had that much health. It falls dead. Good. Woo! We killed one. So I'm gonna say Two out heal, of so six. Everyone's gonna be fucked. Yeah, there's no way we can heal. Unless there's something in like your adventures pack or whatever that you get. Wait, what's in my explorers pack? Yeah, that's exactly it. There's holy water. Can we just like <laughs> exactly. to Horkin, I will be rolling your second death saving throw. <laughs> okay. I'll probably be dead. Goodbye, everyone. Wait, what's a, a, a python or a piton? I don't know. I've never heard of that word. It is I rolled. It is a those. it is a large nail. Oh. Throw a nail at him. Well, apparently I have a backpack, a bedroom, mess kit, tinder box, ten torches, ten days of rations, a water skin, and fifty feet of hemp and rope. Set him on fire. I don't know. Let me just use the rope to fucking hang myself. <laughs> In the middle of the fight, you just see him like stand up on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> he turns into a zombie too and starts fighting us. Zeke takes five damage. Are you dead, sir? No, no, I'm still alive. How are you this lucky? It is now Oshor's turn. Um. Oh, by the way, Bouncy, I have uh, <coughs> two spell slots. I just. Um, you have two. Yes, yeah, so I can use two spells per short rest because I'm a warlock. Okay. Uh, uh, or I'm, or I'm completely mistaken and I confuse. No, you are right. With, okay. Um. Um. Let me see. I I want to cast um, Eldritch Blast again. On this one. Are you sure you don't want to cast a spell? Well, I have uh, Hellish Rebuke, which I have to get hit for, and Unseen mm -hmm. Servant, which isn't going to do much. I see. Okay, so Elvis Blast is your only option here. Yes. Understood. Or meleeing, but I don't really want to <laughs> get in range. Yes. Um. So yeah. Okay. Um. Let me see. Uh, fifteen hits. I guess fifteen you? hits. Yes. Eight damage. Okay. Eight damage on which one? This one? Yes, that one. Alright. Plus damage taken. It falls limp and does not get back up. Yes! 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 <laughs> okay. But we can still not heal, so... <laughs> Zigward, your turn. It's alright, I'm just laying here. <laughs> I, I, I stab at the one that just got back up again, again. Okay. So it's a... Uh, uh, 15, yeah, that's a hit, right? That's a hit, yes. Oh my god. Uh, 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 si that, yeah. For 6 damage. 6 damage, okay. Does it die? Let me check. Please zombie. Please zombie. Please zombie. What are you Dog. doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? You should be asleep. Stop eating my friend. You, st <laughs> you stabbed it and it does not get back up. Alright. Robatu, it's your turn. I take a kill swing him. at this guy. Okay. I bet that'll kill him. 
I'm gonna actually. Four, oh, never mind, eight, I lied. Ten. That does hit. Uh, two, six, eight damage. Oh, eight damage. damage. That's good. You strike the zombie down, and it is still up. It is very upset, but still mindlessly trying to attack you. All right. It is now to Horking's third death <laughs> saving throw. My this God. one could justify whether or not she dies or lives. Oh my! Oh no! 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 It has been recorded. Oh my god. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Dehorkin falls unconscious. <gasps> no. It is I now dead, the zombie's turn. We have one oh. on Zigord, one on, de oh. on uh, Vatu. That's a hit on Vatu. Oh my god. And that's a hit on Zigward. I hate this dungeon. Uh, Vatu, <laughs> you <sucks>. take... <laughs> Vatu takes two damage. Oh. Long hell. You got it, buddy! You just love Zigward takes four. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. No. Zigward is down. Oh my god, no! <laughs> How much health is left in that zombie? On the one... On which one? Which one? one. Yeah, that one's oh, at full okay. health. Oh my god. You know what to do. Yeah, I, I only have held a blast at my mace. <laughs> I can I have one more handless rebuke actually. So if it hits me, that's okay. I, that that could do some good. Oh damage. sure, it's her turn. Are are you the only one that's got like this... actual HP? <laughs> yeah. Well, I got an eight. I got eight. Hey, that's better. Okay, than so no. this one was weak, right? Which one was weak? That one's weak. Yes. Wait. Okay, now I want to cast um, Eldritch Blast at that one. Okay. Uh, does a 10 hit? That's a hit. Okay. 7 damage. 7 damage. Yes. This music makes it even more intense. I know! <laughs> I'm so stressed, I, I know, you guys are like, I died in the first fight! I have EDM playing in the background for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to like Dark Souls like style yeah, bot. Yeah, I did the Austin and Smoke <laughs> theme <Seven>. earlier. <laughs> The zombie oh, falls limp. And then he gets back up. And it gets back up. <laughs> yep. Me give me game every zombie in today. Zombies are mean, man. Yeah, they they act. What's the reckoned with? Zigward, I will be rolling your death saving throw now. God. Buddy, I don't know. I see. I need to narrate something here. Oh, no. It's playing the orange oh, smo music now. Yeah. <laughs> While Vatu and Oshore jump to go help Tahorkin, who is being swarmed by zombies, Zigrid was left to fend for his own against the remaining on oh. that side. Oh no. He fought incredibly valiantly against these zombies, even with this, despite the fact that they would get back up, stabbing and fighting and doing everything they can to hold back all the zombies. But the last remaining zombie that remained yet untouched struck Zigward down right across the face. No. And bleeding from his cheekbones. Oh Zigward is falled prone and sees the remainder of his friends fighting the last of the zombies on the other side of the room. Oh no. And Zigward decides that he still has a job to do. What? And, and gets back up with one HP. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! Hey, yes! Come back. <laughs> oh my god. I, I rolled my heart a, dropped and I heard that. I rolled a natural 20 on your death saving throw. Zigward. <laughs> oh. That's a classic Zigward, natural. Yeah, classic dude. natural right there. <laughs> oh you will be god, taking dude. an injury though, and so will. To work in when that time comes, but I'm so stressed. Yeah, I'm just sleeping here, you guys. <laughs> Vatu, it's your turn. I swing my axe at this one with full might. All right, do it. Six, ten, <laughs> uh, twelve. That hit. That should hit. 
three, seven, nine damage. Yes, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> Inspired by the might of their fellow party companions, Vatu cleaves down on yet another zombie, daring this one to get back up again, and it does not dare. I am so enjoying this boss music is so inspiring. Right now. Oh, this to Horkin, I will be rolling another death saving throw for you. Oh, no. oh my god, am I bleeding out again? <laughs> it has been recorded. Oh Jesus my god. Discharge. Is it Cecil's Discharge? Yeah. Of course it'd be Cecil's Discharge where I die. <laughs> I... Cecil has killed me so many times. Oh yeah, I was there for that. It was so weird because usually you could just glitch him out, but for you it didn't work for some reason. Really? It didn't. Wait, it didn't do like the jumping glitch? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, it didn't do for him. I told him to do it, but uh, Cecil just char uh, blew his charge at him across um, the map. And the, the way it works, him. right? Um, you have to wait for him to rip his arm off first. Mm. Okay, I see. Is he he's ran the zombie misses you. Oh. Oh sure, it's your turn. I want you to give me a perception check right now. Uh, me? No. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh god. Um, oh no. If he sees this game, <laughs> okay, this game. A net 20. <laughs> a natural 20. <laughs> oh wait, I have a modifier of minus 2, so 18 actually. 18. Yeah. You look down at Tahorkin, blood is pulling all around. You are having a very hard time fighting a heartbeat, but you do find one, but you feel like if oh. something is not done this turn, they could possibly die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my let god. Check, let me check my inventory, if I have anything. I don't even... I don't Bro, even I got know. Some, I got some robes in my inventory. We can use that to patch the ones I don't know. You have a medicine check. I don't know if you're proficient, but... There is an action oh, there is, it's for dedicated not, to stabilizing. I am You can try. Okay, I'm gonna do a medicine check. Oh my god, I rolled it too. Well, <laughs> goodbye you everyone! You <laughs> are unable to stabilize to Horkin. Oh no! If your party mates do not do something to help as well, um, um, to Horkin um, will I be have left- a skin in my explorer's pack. Will be left it's to his fate. No! Zigward, it's your turn. You still have a zombie on you. It is at full health. Uh, oh, yeah, so uh, if I were to run, it would get an opportunity attack, right? If you were to run, it would get an opportunity attack. Alright, so it, <laughs> I attack. But you zombie. could use an action to stabilize the Horkin. Uh, but if but you would risk dying then, then, yourself. Then, yeah, don't, yeah, don't. yeah, but then Vatu gets an action after me, right? Vatu does That's get an action Vatu. too. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to count on him to do it. Um, I, I step. <sighs> Zombie again. Right. I'll just make a zombie dragon. Plus, <laughs> uh, what was it? Plus four, uh, 21. So that hits, yeah. Um, that does hit, yes. And um, 6 plus. What is it? 2, 4, 6. <laughs> uh, 12. 12 damage. 12 damage. With a mighty Two blow, you immediately out. bloody this zombie. Okay. It is not <laughs> looking good, but neither are you. Yeah. <laughs> Vatu, it's your turn. Bouncy. <laughs> in my explorer's pack, I have a water skin and I use it on the working. That would go with your medicine check. What is my medicine oh, check? Oh, oh. Uh, if you're using D&D, are you using D&D &D Beyond? It'll be on there. You just rolled it. Well, 818. Yes! <laughs> Vatu quickly just, comes just over 18. with just zombie, wait, zombie guts and liquids all over and it does whatever they can, ruffling through their pack to find anything that could help to Horking. And using as much as they can, they manage to stabilize to Horking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now Seagward's gonna die over there and it's going to... <laughs> Oh no, it's sacrifice for one over Don't even the other, have a healer, so we're fucking Yeah, away. well healers are for pussies, dude. <laughs> we need yeah. a fucking card. If you die, if you die, you better come back as a healer. <laughs> a zombie healer. Tahorkin will, will wake oh up in two hours. Okay. Oh, damn. Like, damn, dude. Dang. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to roll your 
I'm going to be full clarity. You had two successes and two failures, meaning that this last roll would have told you whether or not you no. lived or died. I'm gonna roll it for fun and tell you what oh I get. Oh, okay, okay. You would have died. <laughs> this music in the back, row, is this still ceaseless? Or no, it's centipede. It's centipede, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm thank legit you, sweating Dave. all over. Thanks, oh, Thank you, Kira. The zombie misses Zigward again. Zigward is doing yeah. his best to dodge this zombie to hold off while you all could heal to Horkin. It is now Oshwar's turn. You dodged it! You dodged it, dude! I'm gonna, I'm gonna Proud. walk up to the, uh, up to the zombie and hit it with my maze. Alright. And then it retaliates and kills you. <laughs> no, because I failed the tribute. I'm good. Uh, let's see, 22 hits. Yes. Uh, eight damage. Eight damage. <laughs> that was my highest possible damage, so I'm happy. You cave in the <laughs> skull, but it is still moving. Oh no. Mindlessly grasping and trying to whack at you guys. It is now Zigward's turn. Zigward, fuck no, it up, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's, and... yeah, let, let's get it. We probably just need to buy It doesn't matter, it hits, it hits anyway. Right, so, um, we do need to buy this one is... Yeah, we didn't really um, think. We're not damage. the biggest brain. Can we just six be like AO? Damage. Seafood. It falls down. Does but it gets get back, back up. up. Yeah! Epic. Oh, wait, I it can is... just sneak attack because he's standing next to me, right? Sneak attack, that's a big thing. Yes, do that. Uh, one. <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, do it now. <laughs> that is still not enough to. G that does not beat the DC of it getting back up, unfortunately. It still 14. comes back up. Uh, Vatu, it is your turn. I might throw a javelin at this guy aiming at the. At All the right. Cell. Throw a javelin. Fuck. We uh, should have just, uh, uh. Three. Jane Adam. Plus. Something. It would be the same. No, wait, hang on. This is a finesse weapon. It would be your dexterity to throw. Four. Four. <laughs> nice. So a seven. That's a miss. Oh, is it? <laughs> the zombie swipes at Zeke word again. It does not miss. Oh, no. Take seven damage. Yeah. Oh no. You no, fall limp yeah. once more. <laughs> back down back on the ground. <laughs> oh no. Doing as much as you can to stall for time. It is now over. Oh no. Vatu. No, never mind. It is Oshwar's turn. Um, I'm gonna hit it with the mace again. Okay. Oh, this is sense, dude. Um, let me see. <laughs> I. Does. Eight hit. And eight no. is his armor class. So oh, it meets it. Beats it. it. Yeah, it does it. Okay. Six damage. Six it damage. Die. It does not uh, die. What? Are you see what is wrong with the zombie? I'll what explain is their CR? I'll explain the mechanic of the zombie at the end of this combat, but as of right now, Zekeward, I will be rolling your death saving throw again. It has been recorded. Vatu, it's your turn. I sprint and jump and slam down my axe at this fucking thing. Yes, die. 13. Garbage. 17. 19. Yeah, you That did. hits. 1, 5, 7 damage. It better die, I swear to god. <laughs> I it swear to god. It does not... Die. What? what is wrong with the <laughs> zombie? The other one's so much easier. This one refuses to let go. It's, it's, it's the fucking lich, I swear to god. That's what it is, it's a fucking lich. It is going to no, no, he's not saying anything. strike at Oshore, who has done the most damage to this zombie so far, besides oh. Zigward, who is now down. Please don't die. I'm gonna cast yeah. Hellish Rebuke one more time because I have one more spell slot, so. Does a 9 hit you? A 9 does not hit me. Then the spell does not go off either. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Shorts, your turn. Get hurt. Oh, it's my turn? 
Yes. Well, I'm gonna whack it in the head with my, uh... Yeah, yeah get whack that bitch, again. bitch! Kill it! Okay, I, uh, I went... 22, so I hit. Yes. 5 damage. 5 damage? To die. Please. Please narrate this for me, please. Yes! Uh, I... I slightly bend my knees as I... <laughs> As I swing back my mace behind me, and I uppercut this thing's jaw through the roof, and it heads go, it, its head goes flying off its body, and its body collapses. And Fuck that, Tom. with my Fuck downward that, momentum, Tom. I slam into its torso <laughs> until it's nothing but fall. Fantastic. Yes. You, you <sighs> got both, and now I'm I'm laying here. <laughs> you are now out of initiative. <laughs> One, <laughs> oh my two, three, Wait, four, <laughs> five, What's he counting? six. Why are you counting? Remind A death saving throw has been recorded. Oh, oh One, what, two, what, what? I, three, three four, uh, four. Stabilize. Can I try to stabilize him? Try to stabilize. Uh, what do I roll? Med A medicine. Right? Yeah. Medicine. Uh, seven. You fail. Uh, death saving oh. throw is being recorded. No, 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 no. One. <laughs> go, go, go. Two. Do it, do it. Kira, do it. Three. Seventeen. Seventeen. Kira is... Nope, sorry. Uh, Zigward is stabilized. Go! <gasps> They will wake up. You're a cleric right now. They will wake up in three hours. Can we just like lay here for a little bit? Oh, we're going to have. Do you want to lay in the crypt? Question. Yes. Yes. Lay in the crypt, guys. I don't want to die. One person at a time, please. A short rest is an hour of inactivity. Okay, so like, when does that occur? When you no longer stop. When you no longer are doing activities. So, yeah, just stay here for an hour while, while rest. dungeon crawling, that's not gonna happen. Or... You are close to the entrance of this dungeon. Yeah, we just started the dungeon, dude. This isn't even the, the entrance? Oh. Uh, this is the entrance, though. What music My... is this? Oh, bad, okay. Um, okay. So, do you two drag out your friends back out to where Siegfried is? <gasps> Um, yes. Before I do that, before I do that, can I go um, investigate the skeleton at the piano? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't wait. you dare! I want to no, do no. it. I want to do it. Get your dumbass over here! I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no, what, dude? <laughs> Never mind. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. For the sake of time, um, do not investigate not... the skeleton this session. Okay, okay I'm not doing it. <laughs> Woo! We, we I was mainly him. just worried. What if we just like <laughs> do a boss fight? <laughs> we have to fight him over dead, and you get like three HP between you two. Not, All I right. Eight HP. I only took two damage. You okay, yeah, you went to a fucking Drag like, your unconscious school. friends back to camp. See. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying here. <laughs> For the first time that you've probably seen, you see Siegfried actually show a look of concern as he. Much more hurriedly than he's pat in the past, comes over and assists you all in laying them down near the camp. And this is where we'll end today's session. Woo! <laughs> My that was really intense. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dungeon crawls, everybody. Yay! Oh. Woo! Fun. I hope you all enjoyed. That I was did. fun and stressful. I, that was, that was fun, but my god, I was I stressed? Shit my pants. <laughs> I almost shit my pants too. Like, okay, yeah. guys, let's not bully Bouncy anymore. <laughs> oh, this wasn't the hard one. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, okay. Obviously. We <laughs> when um, we do this shit, wait, next time. Bouncy, do we level up? So you killed six zombies. Six zombies equals. Um, Hang on, I gotta pull something up on my end. Oh yeah, and you still gotta explain the zombies. Too. I'll explain the zombies yeah. too, yes. <laughs> we barely pulled through. Oh my you oh all my receive God. 75 experience points from killing those six zombies. 75? What? 75. You're at 250? 
Yeah. Um, you also are, are awarded 50 experience points each for um, gaining favor with Siegfried. That's that level is level two. That is level two. Um, I said we're going to be leveling up in session, but the session took longer than I expected. Uh, so you all, all are free to level up post this session and contact me for questions. Oh, okay. God. As God. for how zombies work. Okay. When a zombie is reduced to zero HP, the total damage done on that turn towards it is added to five. And then I roll a con saving throw. And if I score higher than that amount of damage, then it will get back up with one HP. If the damage is a critical hit or radiant, it will not get back up. Okay. So what was the deal with that last zombie? Why did it have so much HP? You guys were not doing enough damage to beat the DC. You guys were doing mm. 5, 6, oh, okay. 7 damage, making the DC 12, 11, 13, and I kept rolling above that in the saving throw. What is with your rolls? We get like these little dinky rolls, like, ha, three, <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> But, yeah. That's the session. There is much more to do inside of this dungeon. That was only room one. Oh, yeah. And room one is still not fully Literally explored. Literally the first door we enter in the fucking eye. I'm sad yeah, that I couldn't... Yeah, nice, guys. <laughs> I'm sad I couldn't give to Horkin their special item. Sorry, it's alright. But, uh, it'll yeah, happen. I think my life is a special <laughs> item. <laughs> it'll happen <laughs> next session, for sure. Yes. So, what'd you guys <sighs> think? That was fun. Stressful, and I didn't really if, if do much about playing here. If those were the zombies, here, but... then what's next? Um, there okay, are... Okay, I... There are two party wipes in this, dun in this dungeon that you can encounter. Oh, God. If you so uh, choose to do it in a way that does not please uh, the things that will cause you all to die. Right, we have to do injuries as well. Um, I need to pull that up. So... We are going to have... We're going to address Tahorkin's injury first from the okay. zombie. I am going to uh, hide my display in case I accidentally leak documents or there's one leak as I pull up that table. Um, give me a con saving throw at disadvantage, Tahorkin. Uh, what would, what's disadvantage? So roll two, roll two and then pick the lowest one. Yes. Oh, no, roll, okay, okay. Roll two, pick the lowest one. Well, that one's a nat 20. Uh, um, okay, well, a uh, six. <laughs> a six. <laughs> yep, six. You're completely I'm just, fine. My entire arm's just gone. Bye, guys. You have an internal injury. Oh, God. Anytime you attempt a strenuous action, you must make a DC 15 con save or fail Jesus. automatically. Why? It'll take well, 20 just... consecutive days of rest to remove or level 5 healing. Oh my. We don't have level five healing. Can we, we just don't even have level one healing. I know. Can we just can we just lay here <laughs> for that many days? Twenty days, guys. Let's just, just lay here for twenty month. days. It'll be fine. <laughs> you guys can plan that in your own time. Okay. Yes. As a reminder, you guys are the leaders of this. You can do anything you want. You don't have to go back to the dungeon if you don't want to. It's all up to you. But we do need to do Zigward's injuries. You'll yeah, probably so. be able to pull it off. He'll get like, oh, he came off with like a little scratch on his cheek. <laughs> Ziegler, <laughs> um, please give me a con saving throw at advantage. Hey, hey. Oh, uh, he have it. Why is he getting uh, that advantage? That's, because uh, six, he 16. got back up. 16. Oh. Yeah. Um, you have severe bruising from that first blow. <laughs> um... Uh, anytime you receive bludgeoning or force damage, you receive an additional point of damage. Requires level 1 healing or 2 weeks to remove. So basically you have a ginormous bruise where that zombie hits you in the face. And, and then now roll again, because you got down twice. Um, Advantage, you, no, no, rest flat, because you failed one saving throw during that time. Wait, so what do I roll here? You roll a con saving throw again. Just straight. No advantage or disadvantage. Oh, 16. Uh, uh, 15. 15? Yeah, 15. Two bruises. Oh. Basically. So you will take an additional 
two you points like of damage per bludgeoning or force damage you take. Uh, wait, where do I enter these injuries on the character? Uh, it's a note um, that you need to make, personally. This is a little bit of homebrew that I like to do to give you consequences for injuries. This is supposed to be the balance difficulty. <laughs> this is balance. You guys live. This is a balance. <laughs> so, um, in, in what occasions they get the extra damage? You guys want, didn't you? Well, two of us almost Hang died. on, he has a question. Uh, oh, when do they get extra damage when they do what kind of attacks? Bludgeoning or force? Oh, uh, bludgeoning or force. I'll also try to do my best to keep a mental note of that in the future. Two weeks or level one healing. Let me just check something minor really 20 quick. days from you. I can, I can show the mm -hmm. screen. So what do you guys think? You enjoy the session? It was oh, yes, it was fun. It, it was, was actually awesome, fun. But I, it was fun. I stressed so hard. Yeah, yeah it's stressful. <laughs> oh my god! And I don't know what we're, what we're supposed to do <sighs> because we don't have any healers at all. Yeah. You do I mean, not. Uh, sleep, right? It doesn't hurt. I mean, he didn't say we couldn't just sit here for like. 20 days to recover. Yeah, but like, uh, the, the undead were making the streets unsafe, so you think camping in front of the crypt, we're gonna be safe? I Can I just like chill with Siegfried then while you guys are like going in? Because I can't do anything. If I well, get in that fight, You want to split the party? Die. That's a great idea. I'll do that one. Uh, I, I just have bruising. I wouldn't camp. I would I wouldn't need to stay away like if... I, I know, but like for me at least. I don't know yeah, what else. Right, I'll, okay. I'll just yeah, have to chill back. If, if Kira and I... Because if you both stay here, if Kira and I are gonna fight, like this was so an easy room. We... Yeah, we're gonna no, die. no, no, no. I don't know what we can. Oh, no, I didn't if... say it was an easy room. Oh, I what said. Was the, what was the room difficulty on that one? That. Let me get the calculator really quick. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see like this if the two of us go in and one of us meets on an, a horrible fate. There's a. One of us can't stabilize the other. Two, we both fucking die. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what we can do. I'm just thinking like, uh, obviously we'll go in the dungeon. I don't think the that's CR fair, of a zombie is one fourth. Like. What? One fourth. Yes. So four zombies equals one level one play. Yes. Well, wow. No. We're yeah, yeah. It's complicated. We it's fucking complicated. suck. That Where's was that a guys? deadly encounter. Oh, okay. Fair. The challenge rating for that horde was two. Out of? Oh, out of challenge rating goes to 30. <laughs> out of 100. Don't worry. Yeah, th this was challenge rating two out of 30. <laughs> we just need to come up with a game plan next time. Wait, why does this say it's a hard difficulty? Oh, adjust a cold... Adjusted difficulty rating, right? Because yeah, more monsters more. equals yeah. Okay, yeah. So, kind of a on paper not a deadly encounter. In action, a deadly encounter. Okay. But I did not say that that was the easy room. I said that there were two places in this dungeon that can wipe the whole entire party. This well, let's just one. risk it, sending you two. Maybe you'll get wiped. Maybe you won't. Who gets maybe, you, maybe you and I should just be like the sacrifices and go in each room. We're <laughs> already gonna die. Might as well. <laughs> go in this bait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll go in this bait. <laughs> Though I have to say, the only way for you to wipe your party in this dungeon by those two means is by your own actions. Okay. Okay. So, investigating the skeleton. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that next time. That's a bit no. different. Let's not do that. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't know, man. Well, <laughs> this also might be a friend. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Probably not. Okay. If only you knew. <laughs> if only we knew. But you won't know <laughs> until next week. Yay! I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited to die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start making a second character just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm, I am pretty busy today. I have my Camp Blood Hub stream going on oh, yeah. in uh, four, three and a half hours. So I gotta get ready for that. I need to contact him. I need to unwind. Are you for doing a bit. Silent Hill again? We are doing Silent Hill again. Yes. Okay. 
very much looking forward to that because it's a very wonky game. I love it with the controls, yeah. Oh my, the controls are so interesting <laughs> in that game. It's just, I can't use the analog sticks on the controller, I can only use the directional pad. But the, how the directional pad works is that the front and back on directional pad are your movements, and you can't strafe. Left and right just turn your camera. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> how do you walk then? Controls. <laughs> You have to turn, then walk. You can't do both at the same Jesus time. Christ. Oh my does god. It, does it not run on, like, keyboard, then? I feel like it I, might I think better. it might, but I like, I like the controller. Fair enough. But, yeah, thank you all so much for being thank cool you, players. Uh, thank you for almost killing me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream, and, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool.